Oh my God, that is a safe. Let's open the coffin. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my, my God. God. We just drove 150 miles to Cary, North Carolina to buy the sketchiest abandoned storage unit of all time. We paid $560 for this one and you can tell by the title what's inside. Let's do it. I've been buying these units for over four years. I have never in my life seen a coffin inside of it, and I've never in my life been more worried about opening a box or container in a storage unit ever. Because if there is a human body inside that coffin, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Let's start going through some of the stuff. Is that a stretcher they carry bodies on underneath of the coffin? I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it is, but I guess let's go into some of these boxes. This looks like a really old Bible of some sort. Charles A. Lord, Elizabeth A. Lord. Oh, look, there's things sticking out of it. You see that? What is that? Let's see what's in the Bible. Will this finally be the one that has money in the Bible? We always say it, and someone always tells us in the comments, look in the Bible, people hide money in them. Never found a dollar yet. What is this, though? That is uh, just, I think, a bookmark. It's just a cross, so we'll put that one back together. I think there's two more right here, too. This is so creepy. I've never been this creeped out going through an abandoned storage unit before. Look at the dust on this thing. The, this do in remembrance of me. So I'm guessing this is probably something that's red and maybe a funeral, something like that. They're definitely old or at least dusty. So there's two big thick ones right there. What about this little box? Should I grab the little one? Yeah. Let's see what's in the little guy here. What do you got for us, little box? Envelopes? What kind of envelopes? Just blank envelopes, huh? We can maybe use these for shipping, so we'll keep those for ourselves. Anything else on top of these boxes? Well, here's another. Oh, that almost fell. Mm, I don't even want to know. I'm so sketched out of like everything right now. Like I just feel like there's dead stuff everywhere. Not animals, <laughs> people this time. So look, we got this. Is this all more envelopes? That's all envelopes. We don't need to look at that. Another holy Bible right here. What is this below it? Is that a tr What is that? Okay, I think this is part of a printer. I see the little label on it right there. So that's part of a printer. And then we have a bunch of Bibles with it. So we went ahead and pulled out the boxes that were under those Bibles and it's all brand new printer paper. I mean, one, two, three, four full unused boxes. So a bunch of stuff we'll be able to use at home. That's money saved right there. Let's see what's underneath the blanket. If I pull it and a zombie comes out or a mouse, either which would be pretty bad. Ew, you see the stains on it? I do. Ugh. Look how many times. Ugh. This unit has been cut already. One, two, three, four. Why were they trying to save it? Guys, I cannot express to you how much my mind is going to be messed up if I open this and there's somebody in there. I really can't. It has the smell of a funeral home, but I'm 28 and I've been a pallbearer nine times and I've been to 12 total funerals. So it's like those funerals kind of screw with your mind and you know when you like uh, associate a bad smell or something with something so like that smell is so familiar and i don't like that let's get this out here what's inside this box everything here i feel like oh man this is a suit bag you know they always put like is there anything in there no dead people in suits you think that could be what that's for yeah definitely a tarp which i don't even want to know what it's for let's go a little bit further into it this is Xerox machines, pieces, nothing here. Uh, styrofoam, some paperwork. What's in this? This is all papers, actually. Anything below this? Looks like another Bible and a bunch of sympathy cards. I don't think I really want to know what the biohazard red bags are for. I really don't. So I needed her help to help me roll this so we don't have a coffin, you know, going rolling down the driveway. That would have been good, but I don't like the amount of weight this thing has to it. I've carried a bunch of them. I know they're heavy, but I've carried them with people in it. That just does not feel good. What are we going to do? Seriously, what will we do if I, we open out and there's a body in there? I don't know what the, the next course of action would be. Police? I have no idea. We got some flowers that usually, you know, go on top of the casket and things like that. Fake flowers, of course. But when I move them, I think I uncovered exactly what I thought. That has to be, unless somebody else can give me a good idea, that has to be used to carry and transport dead bodies on, which is just really sketchy to see in a unit. Let's pull this out right here. 
and try to figure out what we got. What is this? This looks like an air pump of some sort to me. Or, no, that goes in the ground. I don't have any idea. Does it say anything on it? It has a sticker on it, but it's ripped off, so I don't know. I thought at first this was gonna be like, it looks like it'd be like an air tube at the top right there, but yeah. it's not, so I don't know. Plus this tubing here makes it even a little weirder. Then we got whatever that tube is. I don't know. What's it used for? Ugh, more tech. This um, is guaranteed. Probably something to put the neck on. That's what I was about to say. I feel like this goes to the top of the coffin. So why is it that, this is just me being weird, all right? Why is it that like we developed this system to where when somebody passes away, we have to like dress them up, make them look all pretty and spend $12,000 to put them in the ground? Is that only, that's weird to me. It's stupid. It's a weird system. But yeah, let's get rid of this stuff. I have a really bad feeling that I know exactly what this stuff is right here. So first, look what's in the bag. This is a bunch of razors and your imagination is probably just where mine is. You know exactly what those are for. They're preparing bodies for like a viewing before the funeral. Is this upside down? Oh my gosh. I'm like, yep. I just confirmed my suspicion. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. This is, oh, this is exactly what I thought it was. This is what they used to, again, prepare the bodies for the viewing. Look wound filler oh my god this is so sketchy and weird like, i gotta feel like i shouldn't have this stuff i know i shouldn't be able to just buy this there's something in the glove do i even want to know yes oh, oh it's more, more makeup that is just so freaking weird but you know what the crazy thing is i have no idea what something like this is worth i would imagine it's a pretty weird profession that stuff like this might be expensive but who do you contact? Do you know a local funeral home owner or someone that works on dead bodies? Cause I sure don't. If you've been in a funeral home as many times as I have, then you know exactly what this is for. This is what they said at the front. So when you enter the book here, you know, celebration of life thing, everyone signs in, right? So I love you, something like that to the person that had passed away. So again, this one's starting to feel very, very eerie. This, I think usually, goes up front with this so it's like some type of decor piece it sits behind the thing right here that holds the book so this stuff at least probably hasn't been touched by dead bodies but the other stuff i'm not so sure about on this side of the unit check this out please no parking for funeral so definitely if it hasn't been clear already think this is a funeral home what is this right here what does that say can you read it uh ce willie Maybe that was the name of the funeral home? Maybe. Maybe. That looks like something they drape over the casket. Yeah, I think so too. What I think these are right here are two more of the little rolly trolley type things that you actually lay the casket on top of, if my guess would be. And what's behind it, I don't know, but we have to pull it out and see. So I move this giant desk out of the way. Let's see if there's anything in the drawers. It's stuck? <laughs> well. Hercules. That's one way to get in there. No, there's nothing in there. These, thank you for that. They may be somewhat expensive, but we're probably not gonna be bringing them home just because of the pure size of them. They don't want them taking up space, so they're probably gonna, <laughs> yeah, they're, gar they're garbage, okay? <laughs> we're just gonna say they're garbage. What about this drawer? Come out, come out. I wanna see what's inside. Careful. I can see in there, there's nothing in there. Dang. What about the lower ones? Oh, there's stuff in here though. Just files, paperwork, things like that. Stuff you'd expect to be in a desk. You know, there's some money right there. Look, money. there's like six cents. Woo! No one under it. Ooh, what is that? What is that? Oh, it's a water bottle. That looked gross. Okay, I don't know why. I think my head's just looking for something gross and all the rest that's in there is just paper. I wasn't even aware this was a drawer. I went to scoot it and this fell out of it. It's not metal, it's just a plastic coin but it looks like a flag with a cross. So I didn't even pay attention that this right here was another drawer nice. that was supposed to stay on there. <laughs> but now let's see what's in here. It looks like paper. No, I see some boxes. What's that? What's that box? There's you a see another box one? right there. You got another one too. Cross. Ooh. Ooh. These look like jewelry boxes. Fancy. Cross since 1846. What is that? Oh, hey. Well, 12 karat gold filled pen. What? They make golden pens? I think cool. we found one like so long ago. That's definitely something cool. Set that up here. Does that mean we have two of them? 
Let's see what's in this one. Oh, that one's empty, but I wonder if it fell out in here. Cause I see another box. Ah, come here, come here, you. I can't get my hand in there. All right, what's in this one? Escada. Escada. Oh, it's empty. What's the tag say? Escada. No price on it or anything, but Dang it. we're gonna have to pull this drawer all the way out. Yes, it's gonna make a little bit of a mess. That's okay. All right, let's see. Money. Well, there's a lot of change in here. Let's see if there's actually glasses in here. No. But Negative. a bunch of pennies inside the drawer, but I don't see, there's a cuff link maybe? Yep. These couldn't be gold particular, possibly. But other than that, I don't see no more pens or anything. It looks like pennies and paperwork. Every time I go back in the unit from the truck, I just look at this thing and man, it's driving my head crazy. What do you think? I mean, honest opinion. Do you think it's gonna be in there? Like, uh, uh, Gosh, I don't know. I don't what, know. I don't know what I would do if that's the case. <laughs> Can somebody please enlighten me on what the heck this machine right here is for? Why does it look like something you'd see in like a horror movie where they keep like a head inside of it that's still alive? Doesn't it give you those kind of vibes? Like it has like an obviously like incubator type top and then some gauges at the bottom, but I have absolutely no idea what that could be used for. Somebody please go down in the comments and enlighten me. Guys, make sure you take a second and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new because we buy abandoned storage units all the time, every single week. So you don't wanna miss it. Check this out. This is, might be something that I think I'm going to keep because we don't have a hose. We just bought our brand new house and it doesn't have a hose yet. And this is a nice one. It's on the little swivel thing. It's got the gun on it already. You know what? I think this now belongs to us, not to sell, <laughs> but to keep. Property so, of the Jeebus house. Property of our household from this day forward. What is this? Is this a siren? Oh, oh, like a light to me. I think this is what the they put on their car when they're directing like the funeral. You know, they have to stop traffic. I've never seen sirens Does on it go a funeral on a hearse? car. I don't know. I've never seen it. Like I said, all the funerals I've been to, they either have no escort or they have a police escort. I've never seen a purple siren. So I'm guessing that's what it is. It looks like it has to be to me. Let's see if there's anything in here. This looks like a desk lamp. Nothing too important. Another why desk it, lamp messing this bottom. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to say, why is it a requirement for funeral homes to have these lights? I don't know. It's like this like thing that everyone's established, but nobody really knows why. An old school house phone and the rest of it in there looks to be a bunch of bottles of cleaner and I don't know what they're used to clean, so I'm not gonna touch them or mess with them. Look at all these creepy vials of mystery colored liquids along with these needles and syringes and all that. That's just so weird. Look at this, man. This is like a movie scene chemical that I keep like somebody's brain alive. This says needle cleaner solvent. Okay, okay. that cleans a needle. All right. Let's see what this one is here. Derma build, um, inject under skin using hypodermic syringe. Dermic build forms a solid after injection by contact with body moisture. Ooh, so it's basically used like, if you got like a cut on your face or something, they'll just inject it and make it look like whole again. Yeah. That's so weird, man. Not the other one. I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to know. Yeah, I wouldn't touch the utensils under there, but. I don't think so either. That's the same thing. All right. And all these scissors, pliers, and needles, and things like that, I'm just gonna do myself a favor and not come into physical contact with those. I also point out that all that creepy stuff is on top of a stretcher. Like literally that is a stretcher for a human body and that is so weird. You know how many dead bodies have probably been set on top of that thing right there? A lot. A whole lot if this funeral home has been in business for a long time, which is just, I don't know, that's really eerie to think about. Again, the coffin. What What if there's one in there? What if that's why they let the unit go? What if, uh, oh my God, man. I, my brain's going a million miles a minute right now. I think this might be another one of those like embalming, is that how you pronounce it, Kit? Yeah. But first, let's see what's in the white boxes on top. Before we get into that, now these are thank you cards. Okay, this right here is, I'm not sure. Open up, it comes out this way. What are these, just handkerchiefs? Or tablecloth maybe to go under a casket or something? Or on top of one. Maybe, not too sure, let's put that in here. Now let's open up this other black box here and see if that's exactly what that is or not. Should I just lift it up? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Another one of those complete embalming kits. And again, I keep saying this because I don't really know. This stuff could be incredibly expensive, but 
who do you sell it to? You contact a funeral home, I guess? I don't know. We got a nice one of these white fold. Actually, this one doesn't fold, but still a nice plastic stand-up table. We'll definitely keep, we always need them. Let's go through some of these drawers and see if they're actually files. Yeah, that is, but not all the way. Let's see what this is right here. This is employee name tags of the funeral home. Some string. What is this right here? Balloons. And then this looks like the things. This is all the different. They must have kept like one of each. These are all the little things they hand out like for, you know, a funeral. A bunch of different ones. Let's close that. Go down to the second one. All files and papers. Yes. Third one. That one's not. Let's see what this is. Printer stuff. Office supplies. More printer stuff. Coffee cups. Yeah. Not paperwork, but equally as stupid. <laughs> Bottom one. That one. Ew. Look at that old salt. Ew. That one's all paper. So we're going to say this whole filing cabinet is garbage. Let's go to the second one here. Papers. This one. Paper. This one. Papers. Last one. I got a wild guess papers what in the world do you think this giant machine thingy here could be used for like i keep looking at it and the only thing that could come to my head is a way to lift up bodies do you have any idea i do not it doesn't say anything it anything? literally has nothing written on it besides a piece of tape here actually it does here it says Ang angelus or angelus equipment and that's all it says and it says model number nd max capacity a thousand but it doesn't specify what it actually is. But I mean, if it's a funeral home, it has to do something with bodies, I would think. Maybe if it lifts them into caskets if somebody's heavy. Other than that, I have no idea. I think it's kind of weird. This box is still like sealed. We haven't even opened it or they haven't even opened it yet. So no telling what's in there. Let's see what the binder is. Oh, this is the pick your casket thing, which is just crazy to me. Like I said earlier, it's crazy how this is an industry. Why don't we just bury people in the dirt? I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody, but like, it seems like it's better for the environment and it doesn't cost the family like $12,000 to do. When they're dealing with the death. Exactly. What is that liquid for? So hopefully. Uh, it's got a label there. Huh. Uh, what is it? Um, Antibacterial anti foam. foam. <laughs> okay. Every liquid in this unit is suspect as you know what, because yes. I just don't know. <laughs> Let's put it down here. Don't break. Okay. So trying to get further back here, we got a column here an old printer that's really dirty so probably not gonna be worth a whole lot let's pull out this box right here oh my goodness this one's heavy and it's not fitting does this slide no it's all the way against you the... could straighten it and pull it out uh, are you sure about that no, that's, that's not coming heavy. out right now let's look over here is this the one i just went through yes okay so this one is all papers meh this one what's the flag say whatever this is that is the name of the funeral home, so that's definitely does not need to be shown. These are Vista Print, so probably the business cards for the funeral home. And this here, just a lot more paperwork. A little bit of fighting later, got the box pulled out, and unfortunately, it looks like more cleaning supplies. Hey, look, a giant roll of paper towels right there. This, another binder, and yeah, unfortunately, it's all just used cleaning supplies. Why did we have to pick the one day it's 95 degrees outside to get an outdoor unit? Yeah, it's hot. It's really hot. I'm gonna grab hot. this box from back here. When I first saw the pictures, I was like, oh my God, that is a safe. But now that we're in here, I can tell it's unfortunately a smaller filing cabinet. So Boo. yeah, that might still be used for a safe though. You never know. Yeah, could be. Ugh. Let's see what's in this box here. This is, uh, what is that? It's a receipt thinger. All right. A payment. Paper thingy did i say thinger <laughs> yeah receipt thinger the receipt thinger so these these could potentially be worth a little something we'll definitely look into that what the heck is this an auto vacuum a 15 dollar car vacuum i don't okay. know what that's used for a funeral home i guess to clean well, out the hearse cleanings up liquid spills and dry debris okay that <laughs> another binder roll of paper towels and whatever this is in this black container let's see what that is is that a tripod? Maybe. Let's see. Get out. I think that is what this is. This looks like a decent... No, it's not a tripod. I don't know what it is, actually. I thought it was a tripod. It's got four legs, so 
It looks like probably something for a camera. I'm not sure what though. So on this side, all that unfortunately looks like used cleaning supplies. So not gonna be a whole lot of value there. The bucket maybe be worth a little something, but not a whole lot. Let's go into this box now. Look at that, United States Army, a couple magnets, do they stick? Oh yeah, yeah. they're magnets. <laughs> so we might get those to somebody. Oh look, a couple United States Air Force ones. Maybe we can donate these to some military place that does funerals, because that's probably what they're for. It has to be. This one is looks like something similar. Uh, uh nothing on it. Not sure what that is. Oh, it's got a stand. Maybe oh. that goes on the hearse, and then afterwards it goes to the family so they can keep it. That would be my guess. Not sure what that does. Goes Ooh. inside of a casket. Yeah. A microphone. microphone from Radio Shack. That's how you know it's old. How long has it been since Radio Shack's been there? Long time. There's an old audio cable, so they can get up there and do their service and everything. And these are, it looks like all of the CDs for, you know, the funeral music that everyone knows so well. That TV is probably where they put on the slideshows, you know, like the pictures, usually from, at least from my experience, the family gets together a bunch of pictures and they make a little slideshow and that plays when you first walk in. First off, or second off, what is this table right here used for because i'm not liking the stains and coloration around it <laughs> it's making me feel a little weird along with the fact that it looks like there's a drain right there so yes it does yeah i'm gonna try again not to touch that let's look at this really quick so it is a filing cabinet is it all files Ugh. in the bottom definitely all files in the top Ugh. it looks like it is paperwork. It's not files, but it's paperwork. It's some checks in there. That's what I'm talking about. A six thousand dollar five hundred six thousand five hundred dollar check. Funerals, homes are just I don't know. I just don't agree with the business practice. Let's use our PO box key and get into this big box that we saw earlier that was still closed. No telling what's in here. I have no idea, but I can't get this to cut. There we go. And one more side. Come on, key. You got this. You got this. Boom through. Is this a box of boxes? Oh, it's a box of biohazard boxes right there. And there's some of those red biohazard bags that we found earlier in there. So it's just a box of boxes in bags. Gross. So I was trying to reach back here. This box has those white lampshades on top and underneath of that is all tissue boxes. A bunch of brand new tissues, which can always use, of course. Um, let's see. These... I think are also something to do with lights, I would think, wouldn't you? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know, to be honest with you. Then it looks like the only other thing is this paper tray for papers right there. Then there's a clock over here. Right here. It says Sunbeam Quartz on it. And the only other thing in the unit is this giant desk. But unfortunately, all the drawers are gone and missing. But oh, look underneath of it. There's another one of those. You things. see that? Another one of those creepy brain machines as i'm going to call them that's what they look like to me so two of those machines the desks again are probably going to go to the trash because they're missing drawers and they're way too heavy to carry but those machines i feel like they're going to be money i guess there's only one thing left to do and that's to open up the casket or coffin whatever you want to call it i'm not going to lie my nerves are so high right now if you could like feel my heartbeat oh it's crazy are you ready for this i'm ready all right let's open the coffin three two why well, can't do it? Oh, you ready? Open. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my, my god. god! Ew! Look at that. That is 100% been used. Gross. Ew. Ew! It smells that, weird. It smells like dead body. It smells exactly like a funeral home. This is <coughs> this is my theory. Are you all right back there? <coughs> yeah, I took a big breath. Don't do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> This is my theory. This is the one they used for the viewings before the funeral. That's my guess, but I just don't know.